No, no crazy intro, my nigga. It's Money Man right here on This Is 50. That's right. I'm ecstatic to do this sit down with you, not an interview, because the fact that your name is Money Man, yep. you understand how this world revolves. And when you know a lot of artists, we're we going to give them a lesson on how to promote themselves, how to, how to execute, how to become famous, how to really grind, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How you feeling, Money Man? How's New York City treating you? I love New York, man. You know, I was born up there. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Yep. I love the city, man. Where were you born exactly? I was born in the Bronx Sound View. Okay. I, I was oh, raised in the A, you feel me? You're, you're a blend of two cultures, man. What, what is it like musically for you? Do you feel like if you spent, if you only lived in New York, you'd be where you at? Or if you only lived in Atlanta? Like, give a, give a perspective. Nah, I got a certain energy where, where um, it don't matter where I'm at. I'm going to still be me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Whether I'm in New York, Atlanta, Alabama, it don't even matter, you know what I'm saying? All right, but I want to jump right into the money stuff. It, let's go. I got some, some. so music-wise, I'll start there before we say, like, what you do with your money, how would you advise people, like, just from your experience, your first contract, right? You're, when you get you got in the game, the first check you saw that was a life-changer for you, whatever that number was, I'm not asking the number, what'd you do with that? Um... The first check I ever got, mm -hmm. the first one I ever got, I blew it. Okay. What you blow what it you on? What you blew it on? Uh, I blew it on, I'm going to keep it real. I blew Let's it go. On, I blew it on clothes and weed. You feel me? Okay. Respect. But, look, but I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> I took some of that money. I, I blew a lot of it on clothes, but the weed I bought, I made it right back. So okay. it didn't right. even matter. You get what I'm saying? You invested in it. So yep. That's it. The closest I, the blow, the rest yep. of it was right. I always, but after that. Um, I taught myself that I never do that again. Like mm -hmm. I never blow a large amount on some some bullshit. What I'm gonna do is I only spend uh one third of what I make. You okay. get what I'm saying? Woo. So if I make three hundred thousand, mm -hmm. I only got a hundred thousand to spend. Two hundred thousand don't exist no more. All right. So right there, right? That yeah. sounds like a principle. Yep. That sounds like something that's yeah. deep rooted. That's not something yep. that people just. A lot of rappers Ooh. don't have that. Where does that come from? Oh, uh, I just learned over time, like, you know, different, fucking with different people and, and meeting with different people. When you see, when you see people all around you always blowing their money, common sense kick in and it's like, oh, well, I can't do that. Or I ain't finna live this way. Like, I ain't finna just be spending all my money and then being broke. Then just spending your money and being broke every time. Then when you got a, when you got a business and you got to keep money to, mm -hmm. to, so Maintain the business. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can't go down to zero. Speaking of which, you mentioned, you know, you invested in the weed dispensary company. I'm hearing that you got something like that in L.A. Yeah, Fact I, fiction? Yeah, it, I, I invest in a lot of different dispensaries, marijuana stocks, mm -hmm. uh, all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Penny stocks. Mm -hmm. when, when marijuana stocks was penny stocks, I invested. I put $50,000 into it. I'm always investing in something. But I try and stay ahead of the curve, like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum coin, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? All kind yeah, of stuff. What did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what did Bitcoin and investing in, in the marijuana business do for you? Like, because, you know, people see the numbers and they're like, I think the rappers are just doing it. You know, they're just capping, you feel me? Well, I, 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 I found out about Bitcoin about eight years ago, right? Okay. So seven, I think it was about seven. Cause I, w I was online and um, you know I was on some other shit. Yeah. And you had to buy Bitcoin to fuck with it. So what I did. I know. Was, what you <laughs> yeah. And this was back when you had to meet somebody. I in the know. Car. Yeah. yeah. Like you had to meet mm -hmm. some. I had to meet you in person. Yep. To get the give you the cash and you give me the Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Do people like, know the history of Bitcoin? Nah, nah they don't know. Because why, the way you talk, like, you talk, you <laughs> talking different. That's what I'm trying to say, I don't right? even want to go in that combo. So, that's what I'm trying to say. Yo. Like, yeah. When they said you was coming, right? If anyone did research on you, like real research like business what yeah. he's doing what his hands is in all the different things yeah. they'll see your name pop up with cryptocurrency they'll see your name pop up with different type of investments yeah. and all the thing is no one can actually pinpoint exactly where it came from because you sound like a lot of different rappers what i mean like he came in the game did this did this but then it's like this whole other story of this successful individual not just a rapper not like that's one yeah. business Where'd that come from? Is it the team? Is it just like you're saying, just you kept meeting people and you just, or you were just something in you kept saying, nah, I'm gonna keep finding ways to spread this money. Um, yeah, see, what, what it was, was, you know, I ain't know if rap was gonna work, so I was like, I gotta have something else going okay, on. Okay. And I ain't gonna work no regular job, so I gotta do something to make millions. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, if, if rap don't work, then 
Oh, cryptocurrency popping. And then you know it all, all that comes from looking into other shit. Like I'm looking into this, this over here on the net. Damn, what's Bitcoin? You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And then you know how we go, you know how yeah, we yeah, yeah. yeah, so I'm out of California and I'm I used to um go out there and I'd be in the field. I'm sleep out there, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm what you mean in the field? Like 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 where they at with it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. So it's crazy, like and then I'm the type of person I'm like, I'm gonna get up and go somewhere. If I gotta get up and go to Africa, I'll go fly there to get what I need to get right. done. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. The music, man, how do you transition or is that always ingrained in you, man? Man, music been in me since I was little. Like, mm-hmm. I always could could do music. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I just learned to record myself, um, record myself and make songs quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to make songs quick, but I want to make them quality, too. So I'm going to get in there. Really, it's just spitting your mind and your feelings. Like, I just get in there and spit my feelings and my soul out on whatever I'm doing. I'm not trying to really think about it too much. I just want to go in there and get, get some quality in what I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, I saw that it said, now, true or false, it said you started at like eight, seven, eight doing music? Yeah, I was doing music at like seven, eight years old. Like, like just rapping, singing? What was you doing? <laughs> I was rapping. I was doing, like, I, I just knew how to rap. Like, for some reason, I just knew how to rap. I could just rap. Yo, like, I'm telling you. Nah, we missing something else. This you know what I'm saying? Like, eight? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like, like what, what, what was going on? Eight. Right, right, right. I could, I could rap so good, then I probably could have been like a childhood star or something. But, right. but I didn't have the avenues, though. Right, right, right. To get the music mm-hmm. out there. Really, I didn't get the avenues to get the music out until I started making some money. Like, some Expl- real money. That, now... Why did it take for you to make money to get your avenues up? All right, so this, this this is what I tell artists, like, you need to make some money if you want to dictate how you're going to do things. Like, so I'm going I'm to make, the way I looked at it was I'm going to be successful in life, period. So I guess I started looking, you know what, though? I, I started making so much money, I was finna say, fuck rap. Mm. And then a lot of people kept telling me, they was like, man, you can do it. Just, you need to go ahead and do it because you're so good at it. So that's when I start back doing it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Okay. But I, I still suggest artists like make some money because this is like the NBA. Okay. It might be worse. It, break this down, money man. Everybody ain't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like we can Ooh. give you hope, false hope, but everybody's not going to make it. Just like you could break your leg going to the league. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. I got a new uh, album I'm finna drop, Paranoia. It's 25 songs going crazy. We That's a lot of songs, my nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't like, do why? that no more. They don't That's do that, that no that, more. That, that just hurt my heart a little bit. I know you put in that fire, but I'm like... 25. Today, that's damn near three albums. Yeah, yeah that's damn near Maybe <laughs> six. But see, I don't, I don't make four minute songs. Like, my songs about a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah. you going through them, and it ain't like you you going to sit there and get bored. They all about different subjects. Oh, you know like, it's, Yeah, you know hacking, it's, rap, I mean, hacking, yeah. trapping, swiping, you feel me? <laughs> you know what's crazy about that, though? If you, if you project, if you think about it, that's genius. That is if very you look genius. at the trend of where music is going, it's going towards trying to get shorter and shorter and shorter. And then people's like, yo, the more I can get because people want to go quick. And if you look at DJ mixes, it's quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because so we ain't got time. Like, it's fast-paced society, man. Yeah. Like, all that long shit, like, get that up out of here. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I, I just like my shit, the flow, you know what I'm saying? Like, catch this moment, we on to the next song then. And then you're gonna keep repeating that song too. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not mistaken, you had a relationship with Cash Money? Yeah, I, I, I did a deal with um, mm-hmm. Cash Money. Um, I was only there for about six months, but then I bought myself out the deal. Um, How was you? Because Birdman no, don't be letting don't, niggas we go. We can't skip that part because I okay. saw that in there. So dudes don't buy themselves out of anything, right? What made you get to that point? Like, nah, six months, I'm good. I'm out of here. I don't need this. You know what? I had hit a uh, stun up and I was like, um, stunning. I was like, um, I, in a few months, I'm probably gonna want to buy myself out this deal, and he was mm. like, he was like, I respect it. He was like, but I really don't want you to go, but I do respect it. Mm. And um, really, what it was was, it was a lot going on, and I kind of didn't want to be in the mix of it. I really right. didn't even want to be, I didn't, I didn't want to be in the situation, period, because it, it wasn't really my stilo, you know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. So mm-hmm. I just bought myself out. They gave me a check. I doubled it. You know what I'm saying? And, and gave him 
double what he gave me and he just respected it and right, let me right. out. But Bird, he don't let folks out. He does. Yeah, that's yeah. like that's what I'm mm -hmm. saying. He he kidnapped Lil Wayne. <laughs> like, but like, yes, we he, like Lil Wayne needed every lawyer in America to get out. You just like, eh. I buy myself out. Yeah, but we we see we really had a, a we had a different type of relationship. It was more we respected each other. Like he respected my business mind, I respected his business mind. And Bird is really a solid. You know what I'm saying? Like the way he moved. You ever got a chance to kick it with Bird and move with him? You'll see he's solid. Mm -hmm. Like he do what he want to do. Like Bird does what he want to do, and that's what I respect about Bird. Your car guy. One more question. When it in our community, when it comes to high end exotics. There's this thing, like this dirt about leasing or uh, a high-end Ferrari, a high-end Lamborghini. As your name is Money Man, why do you think that's better to do? Versus leasing. somebody dropping, dropping 100, all 200, 200, 300 of their bread on the car versus leasing it or doing something else to that. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna keep it all the way a thousand. Like if you not, if you don't got, if you if you don't got like three or four million dollars, you don't have no business even buying no $300,000 car. You get what I'm saying? Let's, let's, like, let's, just, let's just stop that right there. That's it. That's just right there. You you only supposed to buy that when you got a bag, like, and then leasing, like, you can lease something. What, why is that lame? Like, you got rich white folks who lease all day. Well, remember how we were saying, like, the community, right? Yeah. So in a community, like, even when it comes to helping each other, there's a certain way to think about it, African-American versus working with someone white. When it comes to cars, it's like, oh, you didn't buy it cash, so you don't got no money. money. Whereas the counterparts is leasing, financing, saving their money and stacking. So it's a, a cultural thing. So I think one of the things we're really looking at is, you know, your perspective on that happening, because I know you see it all the time. Yeah, I see it all. I, no. buy, I buy all American cars. Like, that's of what course. I That makes that sense. Yeah. yeah, but, that, but yeah. you know why you buy those? Because they're going to appreciate in value. Exactly. Yep. Like, I buy I buy Suburban because I go on the road. Mm -hmm. um, those are good time. road trip cars. Yeah, yeah. I, buy, I buy Challenger because mm. it's only 70000 for the RT. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. Mm -hmm. I buy um, pickup truck because... It's only 60, 70,000, then I put the lift kit, it's another 10,000. Yeah. But I'm not finna go, I'm not finna, if if I don't have $10 million, I'm not finna go spend 800,000 right. on this and uh, buy a Bugatti. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, I can have racks. <laughs> you can show your Rolls Royce online, I sell 400 racks online. You right. Know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> who, who came out better? Right. <laughs> oh, 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 money, man. <laughs> Salute to Empire Gazi, no. money, man. Yeah. Woo!